This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing all right. It's been a crazy couple of weeks, I'm sure. Um, if you're anything like me, a lot has been canceled. Basically all of my weddings were canceled, portrait shoots, travel plans, supposed to go out to California and then to NEB. It's all dried up. So um, this has been a crazy time, but I want you guys to actually share your story because the other day, two photographers, I follow um, Laura and Nick. Uh, Laura was talking about, um, they own a coffee roasting company and their business has kind of dried up because coffee shops are not open right now. So I was able to go on and buy a couple bags of coffee because I don't know about you, I'm not gonna stop drinking coffee. So there's a lot of ways, ooh, that smells good. Um, there are a lot of ways that we can support local businesses and other creators out by buying things like coffee or whatever it is you guys do. So um, definitely hit up the comments below or hit me up on IG. I'd love to hear kind of your stories, how this has affected you, maybe some ways that we can be there for each other during this time. Uh, I know for me, it's been kind of depressing or makes you not want to go out and shoot as much. So these are a bunch of different shoots that I've been putting together to help me stay creative at this time. Things you can do at home and in quarantine or without leaving your car and meeting people. So check it out. So we'll start things out with my favorite and my favorite is going to be drones. And it is something that you can do from your backyard or if you can't fly at your house, you can usually drive out to somewhere in some remote location. You can fly straight from your car. There are a lot of different options. I've kind of a drone obsession. Um, I've got pretty much any kind of drone you could possibly imagine. Actually, this one is going to a new home really soon. Someone just won this from me. Uh, one of these and, you know, got to keep the big guys around as well. So I'm a little bit of a drone enthusiast right here, but these are so awesome. You can get in unique perspectives. You can fly them from anywhere and they're just an amazing option for you guys. If you're looking for something to shoot, if you don't have a drone already, there's some recommendations that I have. I'll throw those in a link below. I also have reviews on all of these things you can check out. This is a great one to get started with the Mavic Mini right here. And they are just really cool tools to use for anything, but they're also a ton of fun. They can be great for if you have your kids or anything like that. My kids love to fly these with me. And then they're also great for photography and to practice on and they can shoot manual and all kinds of stuff. And you can do it from unique perspectives and usually fly from your home or a remote location. So definitely my favorite one is going to be going out, getting a drone or taking my drone and going out to some crazy unique place all by myself and being able to get some perspectives that I usually couldn't get from the ground. Before we go on to the next one, probably the best thing you guys could be doing right now is to make sure you guys have a website or that your website looks amazing. So go ahead and fix that right now. Head over to squarespace.com. You guys know they have a bunch of awesome templates and it's so crazy easy to get your site set up in a matter of minutes. Check out how easy this thing is. You don't even need custom graphics or product shots to get started. So I wanna add a picture for my camera guides right on the front page. I can just click this little image search, type in camera and bam, I've got all of these amazing images I can use as a thumbnail. Maybe you've got something like a food blog, no problem, Squarespace has you covered here. And just check this out, I can still go in here, change my photo settings, maybe go black and white for something like that, uh, control my crops, custom filters, just anything that you can think of. I can now add my products to sell for an entire storefront. I can create some awesome custom galleries, which I can even have password protected for my clients, which is awesome. And then even for my latest Instagram image, they can be imported to the gallery here or post automatically to the website homepage. So if you guys have been procrastinating like me, go ahead and get this done, get it started. It's 100% free, no credit card required. If you guys build something awesome, and I know you will, use coupon code Learning Cameras for 10% off and you can go live with that site today. Now the next one I often overlook and I really shouldn't, and that is macro. And the reason I overlook it is because I don't think of myself as a macro photographer. However, I'm shooting macro pictures all the time or close up pictures and there's a lot to know about it. And whether it's um, a ring shot at a wedding or whether it's product shots for a company, there are a lot of reasons that you would need to own a macro or do macro style photography. And maybe you don't own a macro lens like this right here. You can get some really, really cool creative shots with something like this. And I uh, highly recommend a macro lens if you do have one, but if you don't and you don't have a lot of money and don't wanna go spending money right now, 
The solution right here is these, and these are extension tubes, and they go between your camera and your lens, and they move your lens further away from the sensor, and that is going to allow you to focus at objects much closer to your lens than you would have otherwise. So these are a great solution. Um, I think I paid like 30 bucks for these for Sony E-mount. I'll include some links below. You can get some higher end ones for like 100 bucks, uh, but these are a great way to get some macro style photography. They're not quite as good as a macro lens. They're not gonna allow you to still focus at infinity, so you're gonna use these only for macro purposes. Um, most of them are also going to be manual focus only. So just keep that in mind, but I have no problem using manual focus focus for macro style work. So these are a great option for getting started. If you don't wanna spend money on a macro lens, these are awesome. Now, if you guys are new to macro photography, you're not gonna to wanna to shoot in auto. So go ahead and at least get over to aperture priority, get your camera on a tripod, set that aperture to at least F11, maybe even something higher to get more depth of field or a little bit more in focus and then start experimenting from there. It's gonna give you a much better starting point than if you're in auto. The next one to try is gonna be product photography and products could be anything. It could be um, your guitar, it could be a camera, a lens, it could be a package of coffee, basically anything that you want. And so one thing that I would recommend though is if you're doing product photography and you post it, go ahead and tag the brand or object that you're posting because they might wanna see that picture, they might repost it, you might get some traffic out of there, so it's always a good idea. Now, my favorite tools for this is gonna be a tripod because you can get much better shots usually that way. And then um, you're gonna wanna light, and I love these um, RGB lights because you can kind of change up the colors on them and get some really unique style shots with them. So highly recommend one of these. I'll go ahead and throw a couple links to even some cheap ones or my favorite ones like this Valkanize F7. And uh, these are a great way to get some really cool product shots. So the next one is not my favorite and that is gonna be self portraits. And the reason it's not my favorite is because it's not a type of photo that I would normally take. But whether you're taking your own headshots or you're shooting landscapes and wanna be able to put yourself in it, or maybe you just wanna try out some different lighting techniques and yourself is a great subject to use. You're gonna to wanna to shoot some self-portraits or learn how to. The two best ways I would do this is, um, first of all, you're gonna to wanna to tripod, and then second of all, either use the camera app that comes with your camera. So uh, usually they have a phone app that you can download and be able to access all of the settings. It lets you see yourself on the phone screen, which is really nice. You can dial things in and take your photo remotely. The other trick that I use is to use a camera's time-lapse functionality. And if you're new to time-lapse, that basically allows a camera to take a photo at a specific interval, however many photos you want. And so what I will do is I will set up my camera, set it into time-lapse mode, set an interval of like five seconds. So every five seconds, my camera is going to take another picture. And that allows me to try different things, move to different places, try a different pose, um, do different things inside of my photo, maybe move my lights around. And I don't have to keep re-triggering the shutter on my camera, it's just gonna keep snapping photos. Then I'll later go into my computer, look at those photos and pick out the better one. So those are two great ways to do it, but you should absolutely start experimenting with self photography, whether it is getting your new headshots or working on landscapes, but even just to try out some new things like different lighting techniques, this can be very helpful for practice. All right, so the next one is going to be to do something creative or do something you've never done before. I'm gonna kind of link this up into two different ways that you can do this. So one would be to, um, to do something more creative with your camera, and that could mean building a prop set, uh, doing something more creative with what you're wearing, changing your lenses or your cameras out, changing your lighting setups, anything like that on the camera side. But this also could be project focus. So maybe you're stuck at home with your family, you haven't done family portrait shoots in a while, it could be a great way to do that. Order prints if you haven't done that in a while, create a family video of your year in review. So things that you normally wouldn't do uh, because you're so focused on work that kind of get you outside of that comfort zone into a different type of photo shoot or different type of edit or something like that that you haven't done before. So. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. Please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already. Got some really cool stuff coming up soon. And again, let me know some of the ways that this um, staying at home order has really been affecting you guys and any ways that we can help out uh, each other in the next couple of weeks. So again, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.